Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. In today's video, we are going to be talking about an extremely beautiful foliage plant called as the Philodendron lupinum. Now, this plant is native to the Brazilian rainforest, so you will get a pretty much idea of what kind of conditions they prefer. Now, it was discovered a couple of years back in the Amazon. Uh, the place is called as Acre. I'm not very sure if I'm pronouncing that correct, but it is native to the Brazilian rainforest. So let's talk a little bit in detail but before that let me tell you that this plant is in its juvenile form right now which means that the shape of the leaves that you're seeing over here is not going to remain the same as and when the plant starts to mature i'll try to find a picture and put it up on the screen uh, of how the mature leaf tends to look like now guys talking about the light requirements as i said it belongs to the brazilian rainforest this plant tends to grow as an epiphyte which means it tends to grow onto a tree but putting out its roots into the forest floor so it requires some kind of support in order for it to grow so you can use any kind of pole stick or a support for it to grow ensure that you're not placing it towards the wall otherwise it will attach itself onto the wall and it can peel off the paint easily the roots tend to get into the soil as and when the plant starts to grow as you can see the leaves are absolutely beautiful very velvety but as and when the plant starts to mature the shape of the leaves will start to change now let's talk a little bit in detail about this plant starting off with light now light is the most important thing please do not expose this plant to direct sunlight in its natural habitat it tends to grow under the canopy of of trees so ensure that you're giving it a good amount of indirect bright light whether it's indoor or whether it's outdoor if you're keeping it indoor ensure you're keeping it near a window where there is a good amount of indirect bright light do not place it under a air conditioning vent or a heater otherwise that will damage the plant and if you're growing it outdoor ensure that you're keeping it in a place where it does not get that direct sunlight onto the leaves otherwise they will get burnt now talking about the soil mix understand this tends to put its roots into the forest floor it prefers a very rich organic soil the soil has to be loose porous and well draining do not let the plant sit in a soggy wet soil you have to ensure that you keep the soil slightly moist but not soggy wet otherwise the roots will get damaged the roots will get rotted now this plant is a very very slow growing plant so you need to have a lot of patience if you are a person who tends to expect a plant to put out leaf every next week then this is not your plant because this is going to be a very very slow growing plant now talking about watering whenever you see around one to two inches of the upper layer of soil is dry go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole do not keep the soil dry for a longer period of time especially during summers because summer is their growing period you'll have to increase the frequency of watering during the summers and during winters you'll have to reduce the watering because philodendrons tend to go into a kind of dormancy not a complete dormancy but they tend to slow down their growth during winter so you'll have to reduce your watering during winters again guys i cannot give you the exact time and how to water because this all depends upon your environment and climate some people have more dry environment some people have more humid environment so you have to check accordingly the soil and then go ahead and water it now talking about temperature and humidity this plant belongs to the tropical environment of the brazilian rainforest it prefers a slightly warmer climate and a good amount of humidity a humidity above 60 percent is going to work out really well for this plant temperature anywhere between uh, let's say 80 degrees celsius up to 30 degrees celsius even 32 33 degrees celsius is going to work out really well during summers is their growing period and winter is their dormant period during summers you can go ahead and give a liquid based fertilizer probably once a month but please do not over fertilize this plant because a lot of times people think that the plant is not growing because of less fertilizers that's nothing to do with fertilizers in general this plant tends to grow very very slow so ensure you're giving a liquid based fertilizer either once a month or once in two months talking about pest issues ideally this plant does not get affected with pest issues but yes if there are any other plants that are affected with mealybugs or aphids then those insects can pass on to this plant so do a visual check once in two weeks or once in three weeks you can go with any organic solution that you have been using all this while now talking about propagation it's very simple to propagate a philodendron lupinum you can do a stem cutting that's one of the best way to do a propagation of your plant uh, there are other methods like growing from 
seeds but i would say a stem cutting is going to work out really well you can do the stem cutting either you can go for a water propagation or you can just put it into the soil and the propagation will do quite well again as i said it's a very very slow growing plant so do not expect it to grow at a very fast rate now the most important question is this plant toxic yes this plant is a philodendron all philodendrons are toxic to humans as well as pets so ensure that you're keeping this plant away from the reach of small children and pets if the leaves are ingested it could cause trouble and when you're tending to do any kind of propagation ensure that you are being very careful use gloves when you tend to uh, propagate your philodendron because the sap or the plant milk can be toxic and can irritate the skin especially if you have a sensitive skin apart from that it's a fairly easy to grow plant ensure that you give the basic care requirements what we have mentioned in this video and the plant will do quite well so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting